Hey, it's a wealthy expat here. If you're looking to set up in Dubai and have your company in Dubai, your tax residence in Dubai, overall pay 0% tax, which we talk a lot about here in the channel, you might have seen some options for $1,500, $2,000, $5,000, very low cost options. And a lot of clients ask, why do you charge more than all of these competitors? Why should we get premium service? And is it really worth it? So I'm gonna tell you, how choosing a low cost option can really turn your life into a complete hell. So essentially I moved to Dubai a couple of years ago. I chose one of these low cost options because I didn't know anything about Dubai, how it worked. I couldn't find anybody that could actually make it all for me and handhold me through the process. So naturally I went through one of these companies. They all have sewn in their name or they have Emirates set up or whatever. There's about a thousand of them all over Dubai. And if you actually visit Dubai, you might see their ads like Dubai company for 6,000 dirham, which is $1,600. You will see these ads constantly. And a lot of clients ask us, hey, why do you charge so much if there is these other options? They don't know the reality. And the reality is with most of these companies, they just do it on a massive scale. They charge 2,000, $3,000, but they do it to 100 people a month. 300 people a month. And essentially what these companies do, why it's so cheap, is because they typically incorporate in really bad free zones in Dubai or outside free zones in other Emirates. So what they'll do is they'll incorporate your company in Ras Al Haima, which is another Emirate, not really in Dubai, or Al Ain, which is another Emirate, or they'll incorporate somewhere outside of Dubai, which is much cheaper. Now, the problem with these licenses is that it's almost impossible to get a bank account. It's almost impossible to do anything. The visa takes three to four months to process. And also the treatment that you get, it's absolutely terrible. I just had a client email me and he said that he got one of these licenses, but he wasn't able to get a bank account. He wasn't able to get his visa. He wasn't able to get his Emirates ID. They told him to get the Emirates ID. It was gonna take five or six months to get it. So essentially they make your life a living hell. And yes, you save a couple thousand dollars, but it's not really worth it at all. Another problem with this whole process and choosing the low cost options is the treatment that you get. Essentially what you get with these companies is just a bunch of Indian people, Pakistani people, Filipino people, and no hatred to all these nationalities. I love my Indians, I love my Pakistanis, I love my Filipinos, but essentially what they do is they get the lowest cost workers that they possibly can. They pay them 5,000 dirham, which is like $1,400 a month salary in Dubai, which is nothing. They pay them that. And then they don't really care about their job. The visa takes three months to process. Nobody does anything. Everything gets super delayed. Everything just doesn't work at all. And I've had some clients that have gone through some of these companies. For example, I recently had a client, Michael from Australia. He was gonna work with us and pay our fee and we were gonna handhold him through the entire process. But he chose one of these companies. He paid $10,000 for the whole setup and they essentially just disappeared after a couple of days. They started the licensing process. The license got approved and they pff, just went out of thin air and never called him again, never basically never got back to them. And that's what happens a lot with local services in Dubai. If the company is a local, if they have a huge office in Dubai, if everything is based in Dubai, be very careful. If it's not run by any Western people, and you see that the management is not Western from the UK, from the US, from whatever country that is not directly there in the UAE, and also these surrounding nations that typically have low cost workers, typically the service will not be that great. I've had that experience, for example, hiring lawyers in Dubai. It's absolutely terrible. They're run by these people that don't care at all about you. You pay your fee and they're gone. They disappear, literally. They don't answer your calls. You need to call them a million times. You need to ask them, where's your visa? A million times. What we've done differently, and I'm not saying that you need to hire a wealthy expat if you don't want to make your life a living hell. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying why these low cost options might not be the right fit for you. For example, when I was doing my Emirates ID and my visa, all this process took me about a month and a half to do. To do the biometrics, to go and do my medical test, to go through all the process when it should have really taken a week to do that. I had to wait about two and a half weeks for my passport to be stamped and I was stuck in Dubai. I couldn't go anywhere and I needed to travel out of Dubai, but I couldn't because my passport was stuck at immigration and they wouldn't stamp it and they wouldn't pay for VIP processing. We avoid that because we pay for VIP processing. We pay people to drive you, take you to the appointments instead of you taking Uber or figuring out with your rental car. Essentially what you want is that premium service. If you're a wealthy individual, you're a rich person that doesn't want to go through all the hassle to save $5,000, $10,000, we essentially take you by the hand 
and we do all the documents for you. We file all the licenses for you. We send you all the documents so you're ready and you don't need to worry about going to a place to pick them up. We have an assistant that picks up the documents, brings them to you, somebody that picks you up, takes you to the medical test, does the biometrics, they're on site. You go to the VIP lounge, you finish, we drive you back. Then my assistant takes your password from the immigration office, brings it back to you. She takes the Emirates ID, brings it back to you. And essentially all you need to do is get out to your front door for 10 minutes, get picked up, and the process is finished. And you need to be in Dubai for about 10 days instead of being in Dubai for three to four months, waiting for this whole process to end. And another example, I had a client, Milos from Hungary. You'll see a message here that it says that our service is essentially premium. You get what you pay for. And this particular client, I helped him get his company license. I helped him get all the company documents. And then when it came time for the visa, he said, hey man, I don't really wanna pay the visa fees. I just want to pay the license. You got me the license. It was awesome. We got it in about 10 days. And then he said, I'm going to go work with another company, which is from my friend. And I'll do the visa with them because it's much cheaper. And I'm like, okay, no problem. He saved a couple thousand bucks. And now he still doesn't have a visa after two and a half months because he wanted to go for the low cost option. So I'm not saying that you need to pay us. You need to work with us if you want to have a good experience, but be very careful when it comes to these low cost options, because I don't want you six months later to have a license that doesn't work that doesn't get a bank account, that you can get a connection to any banker. A lot of these companies in Dubai, I know how it works there, and I've been through this because I've hired a lot of people that suck. You pay them and they disappear. You pay them, they do some work, or you pay them 50%, they do some work, and then bang, they're out. They don't work with you anymore. They pretend like nothing has ever happened. They delay applying for a license for a week, two weeks, and they just truly don't care about you. So when you're going to Dubai, be careful with everybody. Dubai setup company, form, company formation services. Be careful with lawyers, be careful with realtors. I'm gonna make a video with a realtor very soon. A person that I trust and actually buys properties in crypto himself. Clients send him the crypto, then he buys a property for the clients. With any service that you're hiring in Dubai, it's really the wild west. People do whatever they want. They get fake reviews on Google Maps. Be extremely careful when you're looking for people on Google Maps, a lot of the reviews are fake. I've hired people where they have 20, 35 star reviews and they're all fake. You can't really check this. You can't really see if they're fake, but you can check the profiles of the people. You can check how old the reviews are. They're all from a particular time period. So you do need to be extremely careful. I highly recommend you to go through this and do your proper due diligence and maybe even ask them for their trade license. So some of our clients, they ask us, hey, can you show me your trade license to see if Wealthy Expat is really a Dubai company? Hey, here you go. Or can you show me proof of your Emirates ID? Hey, here you go, there's my Emirates ID. So you know that I actually live in Dubai and I actually run my business from Dubai. I have a Dubai bank account that you can pay to and everything. So be careful with these low cost options. It's not as good as they seem. Typically, they don't really care about you. They don't answer your emails. They don't answer your calls. They make you go through five different places instead of going to the same place with VIP. You pay a little more, you get a much, much, much better service. If you wanna work with all the expat for your Dubai setup, pay 0% tax, set up your company, set up your visa and your ID, click that first link in the description, book a call with us, and let's see if we can help you do all of this with premium processing and VIP treatment from a Western standard and a Western quality of the whole process. And check out the video that's gonna pop up right here how my client went from 45% tax to 0% tax, a Dubai success story that we helped, a very famous crypto investor, go from 45% tax to 0% tax. You wanna check out that video so you can go through the process as well. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, the like button down below. I'll see you on the next one. I am the wealthy expat.